There are no natives, native speakers anymore. We don't speak each other in Nibonian. We don't speak. On the far northwestern tip of the coast of Latvia is an area known as Livonia. Livonia once had its own distinct culture and food as well as its own language but today it's one of the least spoken languages in Europe with only a handful of speakers left or a handful of people that can understand the language so um, yeah I've come to Riga bus station to get a bus to go to Livonia so we can find out what's left of Livonia what's left of the Livonian language let's go looking for the last speakers of Livonia let's go So the bus had just gone. I'm here in Kolka, which is one of the few remaining Livonian areas right on the tip of the coast of Latvia. There's a few villages which still have some Livonian connections, which still have some Livonian culture, and I'm hoping that Kolka is one of them. We'll see if we can find some Livonian and some Livonians. I am wanting to film a little bit about the Livonian language. Yeah. Then you need to talk to my boss. Okay. I can give you phone numbers and then you can contact the people themselves. This is a map that shows you the relationship of all the finno ugric languages. Yeah, going over here, over there is Hungarian on this branch. And over here are things like... Uh, Karelian, I think this is Finnish, Estonian, and uh, this is where Seto and some of the other languages that we have heard are. So the story is that the blue of the Livonian flag represents the sea. Livonian men were predominantly at sea, were fishermen. The blue represents the sea. The white represents the sand. It's very sandy soil. And the green represents the trees. So, the Livonian flag is a representation of Livonia itself. Up there is the tippity top of the coast of Livonia and also Latvia. And then going down, you can see all the way in the distance, this coast curves all the way around. And eventually it curves all the way around back to towards Riga. At this campsite, we have a um, welcome in many languages. Uh, so I understand this one. <laughs> and also Russian, Dobro Pajalovat. And uh, yeah, some other ones. I know this is Estonian and uh, this one's German. You know, all of those ones I understand and know. But I believe that this one at the bottom is Livonian. I believe this is Livonian. So, um, yeah, a welcome sign for one of the 20 speakers of the Livonian language. Quick, quick, before those people come up, I want it to myself. That's just fucking trees. Now, if I was a uh, well-organized, inspirational travel vlogger, the kind that shows you the most wonderful places in the world, this is the kind of place I'd stay. I'd have one of those montage shots of me, like, doing some kind of yoga, looking out at the sea in my little barrel. And, uh, yeah, I'll tell you how wonderful it is, but... Um, I'm not that organised, so uh, I'm staying in a tent. <laughs> Alright gang, this is it. This is the top, the tippity top of Latvia. And this is where the Baltic Sea on this side of the coast comes around to the tip. The two parts of this sea are meeting. You can see they're crisscrossing. You can see some of the waves are coming in on this way and some of the waves are coming in on that way. 
So at this point, this point, this is the tip. This is the tip of Latvia. Sea swans. Hi. Hi. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm good. You are yes. interested in Livonian language? I am. I am, yes. I've heard that it's the language with the fewest speakers left in Europe. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I would like to, to hear some of the the language. I am not, uh, I'm just hobby, hobby speaker or, uh, yeah. You know, but it's not, uh, I'm not native speaker and there are no native, native speakers anymore. In this period, in 2030s, uh, already uh, Livonians understood there is no, uh, no future for this language. Schools were in, Liv in Latvia, not in Livonian. Who care about Livonians? It exists in books, in, in, um, in um, songs, mostly in songs, mm -hmm. in songs. We don't speak each other in Livonian. We don't speak. The Livonians were, was a group of, of people living here in this territory. They were more, in this territory, they were more than Latvians in some period, but... Uh, Latvia take over. When Latvia got independence, all these things uh, which were, uh, were forbidden in Soviet time started to develop. Mm -hmm. And Livonians <laughs> are forbidden in Soviet time. There were no nationality Livonians. It's not so optimistic with the language itself. Uh, and it, it is not the only thing Livonian language. Sure. You have to choose at some point, right? Yeah. What you keep and what you lose. If we sing in Livonian, it's okay. When we come together and sing Livonian songs, mm -hmm. it's very good. Yeah. If we keep this language alive. You asked about Livonian food. And what is... But uh, this, is, this is popular or well-known in the um, west part of Latvia, in Kurland. Okay. Also Latvians cook it. And what's inside? What's inside? Yeah. Uh, rye base, rye flour base, uh, filled by potatoes and uh, carrots, and cream on top. But okay. sweet, in general sweet. And I think it's invention of Livonia. Taste the point. Please, if I may. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of our first day here in Livonia on the Livonian coast. We've had a nice poem, we've had a nice pie, and uh, seen lots of nice flags. Tomorrow, we will continue down the coast to the town of Mazibe. Good morning. Good morning. Da, da, da. Sejas Ludi Mazibi, Ludi Kovari Livski Yazik, Ilinia. Yeah, Mala, I know. The Libiski Komakar. Russian and Christian. Not Lutheran. Pareis. Eh, Rilux. No, it's a coca. I think it's a good morning. I've gone round and round in circles in this wood looking for what I wanted to show you but I think I finally found it. When the Livonian coast was part of the Soviet Union fishermen were urged to give up their livelihoods, stop fishing. It has changed in Soviet time because they closed the sea for fishing uh -huh. and the factory was here in Kolka. Many moved to Kolka for work. And so Soviet Union stop private fishermen fishing in waters just off the coast here. I mean this area is just mostly sea. It's sea, 
sand and, and some trees. And so when the fishermen gave up their livelihoods, gave up their boats, they kind of did so in secret and pulled their fishing boats up into the forest. The boats were left here to rot and to become part of the forest. It's awful to see things like this because these boats for fishermen are not just their livelihood but also their lives. The fishermen that gave up these boats gave up so much. They gave up their jobs, their, their profit, yes, but also they gave up their way of life, their culture and eventually their language. The loss of a lot of Livonian things is well, well summarised here. Would you like I read some poem? Please, let me... Uh... Poem is called Do you know the land? Kas tundad mod, mis siņist megīst, Lēb koģen rānda naigis son. Ja kolka nanā jauga kankist, Lēb iedspēģen lūž killa son. Seum se mo, kus minnan el, Kurd ēlis ja min izādan. Siest polab īda kabalma, Se knaš knaš mo, se un med sindi mo, Kus kankad pēla piedāga ladād. Vēl tēriņ tabad lībidi, Ja pēvaļikis silda silda, Vaļ masta pēsta pēkiži. Pēkiž. Se um se mo, kus minnan el, Kurd ēlis ja min izādan. Sties tlolab īda kabalma, se knaš knaš mo, se un med sindi mo. Sies cidāmast mēg ārmasta, eņš sindist moda tlitama. Ja laptas laula vēļama, mēg rāndam ģella kaza ēdrikša. Jā.